my salvation. That's right. Whom shall I build? The Lord is the strength of my life. That's right. For whom shall I build prayer? Yes. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foes, came up on me to eat up my prayer, they thought I'm fail. During the host shall they camp against me. My heart shall have built. Go to wall shall raise mm -hmm. against me. Mm -hmm. And this will I be comforted. Yes, yes. One thing I have desired of the Lord, mm -hmm. that I will seek out. Yes. That I might build in the house of the Lord all my life. Yes. And to behold the beauty of the Lord and then quiet his temple. Right. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his yes. 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 And the seek of his will be, he shall hide me. Yes. Yes. He shall set me up on a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above. Uh -huh. For I am around about me. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I offer into his capital. Yes. Sacrifice of joy. Yes. I will sing. Yeah, I yes. will sing praise unto the Lord. Yes. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Yes. Have mercy also upon me and after me. Yes. For now say, seek ye yes. my faith. Yes. My heart said unto thee, thou faith, Lord, I will seek. Hide not that faith from me. Put that servant away in anger. Yes. That have been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God, yes. for my salvation. For my father and mother forsake me. Yes. Then the Lord will take me up. Uh -huh. Teach me the way, Lord, and lead me in the way. Because yes. of my enemy. Yes. Deliver me, God. Okay. Oh, until that we will in my enemy. Yes. For false witness rise against me and such who you are for you. I read to you the verse of the 27th Psalm. Okay. Amen. May the Lord continue to bless you. Amen. 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 That's the sound, church. May we bow our heads in prayer. Right. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Well, well. Lord, once again, we come bow our heads. Give an honor, praise, and glory to your holy name. We just want to acknowledge you are God, Father Almighty, and before you there is no other. Right. You are the great I am, the kings of kings, and the lords of lords. You can do all things and not fail on you, Father. Right. Lord, we just want to start this prayer. First of all, saying thank you. Thank you. Lord, we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for being so good, so kind, so wonderful. Lord, you've been better to us, and we've been to our own selves. And that we want to take you thank you, Heavenly Father. Right. Lord, we just want to thank you for the protection that you've given us last night. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful and blessed day that no man or woman child has ever witnessed, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Because you didn't have to, but it was your love and your grace and your mercy that woke us up this morning. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, because we realize, Father, that we didn't deserve it, Heavenly Father. But Lord, you loved us so much that you gave us another day. Lord, there's many souls that didn't wake up this morning, Heavenly Father. But we were blessed to wake up this morning, Heavenly Father. With a good portion of health and strength this morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you for putting us in our right minds this morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to thank you for the roof that's over our heads, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the clothes that's on our backs, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for as many people in this world that don't have half of what we have, or have a portion of what we have, Heavenly Father. There's people that don't have no home to go to, Heavenly Father, who don't know where their next meal is going to be, Heavenly Father. But Lord, you don't bless us in abundance, and for that we want to take you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And we just pray for all those, Heavenly Father, that may be down right now, Heavenly Father, who might be going through some things right now, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to keep them lifted up in our prayers, Heavenly Father. For you said that the poor will be with us always, Heavenly Father. But we know, Heavenly Father, you got all the answers, Heavenly Father. So, Lord, we just pray that this morning you will go out to each and every soul, Heavenly Father, who don't have a place to go, who have no place to eat, no clothes on their back, Heavenly Father. They're just trying to find their way, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just pray that you will step into their life and you will bless them, Heavenly Father, so they can be in a better position, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to thank you for protecting us and watching us throughout the whole entire week, Heavenly Father. But we know Satan is busy each and every day, going up and down, up and down, to and from the city, which souls he can devour and destroy, Heavenly Father. But Lord, you kept the love of arms around us, Heavenly Father. You done protected our children, Heavenly Father. You, uh, you watched over all of our family, all of our friends, all of our church family, Heavenly Father. For that, we want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father. For even if we had 10,000 tons of all the money in the world, every dictionary that was ever written, we could never find a proper word to tell you thank you. And Heavenly Father, we just pray this morning, Heavenly Father. You will bless the message and bless the message as well, Heavenly Father. And we just pray that whatever it is that we're going to learn, Heavenly Father, may it stay permanent in our hearts as well as our mind, Heavenly Father. But we understand we are not perfect, Heavenly Father. And we know, Heavenly Father, that we sin each and every day, Heavenly Father. But we just pray that you will lead God and direct ourselves in the way that we should go, Heavenly Father. For we know that our way is not the right way, but your 
always the right way, Heavenly Father. So we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will show us the way, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we just pray, Heavenly Father, that you will help us to be better people, Heavenly better believers in your faith, Heavenly Father, because we can't change anything unless we change ourselves first, Heavenly Father. We got to get ourselves right before we can help anybody else, Heavenly Father. We got to let our light shine, Heavenly Father. And we just pray that you would uh, help us, Heavenly Father, for all those who are in the darkness, Heavenly Father, for helping to see our light, Heavenly Father, so we may guide them to the holy light, which is your light, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just pray for all the members that are not here right now, that wanted to be here for one reason or another, they couldn't come, Heavenly Father. But bless them so they may come next time, so they may hear your holy word, Heavenly Father, so they can get the proper instructions of what they have to do, Heavenly Father. And we just take this time, Heavenly Father, to pray for my father, Heavenly Father. He's uh, he's in the hospital right now, Heavenly Father. We just pray to keep us strong, Heavenly Father. For this is not the time to be weak in our faith, but it's time for our faith to increase and our fear to decrease, Heavenly Father. So, Lord, we just pray, Heavenly Father, keep us strong, Heavenly Father. Not physically, Heavenly Father, not just mentally, but keep us strong spiritually, Heavenly Father. For we understand that, Heavenly Father, you're testing us, Heavenly Father, to see um, if we truly are who we are, Heavenly Father, and not just faking it, Heavenly Father. But we know in these times, Heavenly Father, we have to keep the faith strong. So we just pray, Heavenly Father, that you will take your healing hands and touch my father, heal him and make him whole, Heavenly Father. And not just for my father, for all of us who have to go through surgery this morning, Heavenly Father. For all of us who are feeling sick, Heavenly Father, they feel like they can't get no better, Heavenly Father. But I pray that for your hands, their hands and your hands, everything will be all right, Heavenly Father. For you are a doctor in the sick one that's never lost a patient, Heavenly Father. And we know what you did back then in the biblical times, you can do the same thing today, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we just pray, Heavenly Father, keep us close together, Heavenly Father. Let our uh, love for one another increase, Heavenly Father. Let our love for you increase even stronger, Heavenly Father. And we just want to take this time to thank your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who sacrificed his life for all mankind, so we may have the tree of, uh, both the tree of life and the life more abundantly, Heavenly Father. But you didn't have to send your only begotten son to do what he did, but you did anyway because you loved us that much, Heavenly Father. Even though we continue to stumble, you still love us, Heavenly Father. Even though we continue to do wrong, knowing that we're doing wrong, Heavenly Father, you still love us. Even though we're hard-headed, we bull-headed, Heavenly Father. And for that, we want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father. And we just pray, Heavenly Father, you will teach us to love one another better, just like the way you do, Heavenly Father. We understand it's a process, and we know that through you, we can do all things, Heavenly Father. And we ask all these things in the Son's name, we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning, Good morning New Bethel. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is there anybody that's glad to be in the household this morning? And for those of you that are streaming live with us, we are the New Bethel Mission Baptist Church of Gary, Indiana, where our pastor is the Reverend O.B.C. Lyons. We're located at 20. 25 West on 21st Avenue. Did anybody come to give God some praise on this morning? We know that we're in the Thanksgiving season, but every day is a day of Thanksgiving because God has blessed us every day of this year. And in spite of what's going on in the world today, I'm just glad to be here. Glad to be here to serve. Glad to be here to serve. Glad to be in the service one more time. Oh.
same. Truly, our Lord is worthy to be praised. Does not matter what you're going through. Does not matter what you're dealing with. It still does not change that God is good. I was not have some given here this morning. We just celebrated Thanksgiving. You ought to give the Lord thanks today. And he brought me this far.
most of us know this, because if you were anywhere in Sunday school, as a child, we always was taught this verse growing up. John, the third chapter. And verse number 16. Well, I thought that happened. John 3 and 16, when you have it, say amen. 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 Bible reads, For God so loved the world. Come on, come on. That's enough. <laughs> we'll take your seats. I just want to talk to you briefly this morning with my subject entitled, This is just a reminder. Right. Yeah. Need you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah. this is yeah. just a reminder. Yeah. Go ahead and look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah. God, God still loves you. Still love you. <laughs> amen, amen. By way of introduction, um, as children begin to grow, we begin to teach them certain things. Uh, with me having a four-year-old daughter myself, uh, we, we teach our children certain things such as their ABCs, uh, how to spell their name. Uh, we potty train them. We teach them uh, not to talk to strangers, uh, how to behave in public, uh, looking both ways before crossing the street so you don't get hit by a car. Uh, we tell them to not eat too much candy and eat more fruits and vegetables because they're healthy for you. Uh, we teach them uh, not to use bad words. Uh, oftentimes, uh, uh, like myself, uh, 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 my daughter uh, kind of hears uh, certain words when you know I'm watching the game and the game doesn't go my way. But uh, we, we teach our kids uh, not to, to use certain words, but, but one thing that I had a great time uh, doing this summer, despite of the pandemic, right. was watching my daughter ride her bike. Right. And we know uh, anything uh, about riding a bike requires a sense of uh, balance yeah. and right. self-confidence. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of the things you use when teaching your children how to ride a bike is training wheels. You say, why are training wheels so important? I'm glad you asked. Training wheels are important because they are there just as a reminder to let the child know that I'm there to support you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I won't let you fall, and, and I'm there to lead you and guide you. And just as those training wheels are, are there for that child, God is with us. The same way, and he's just reminding us that I'm there. He, he, he's reminding us that I, I've got your back. He's reminding us, just like those training wheels for that child, he, he's letting us know that I won't let you go. Amen. Is there anybody here that's glad that the God we serve Amen. will never let us go? He's always reminding us that he's there for us. He loves us. God has not left us. He has our back and he, uh, he, he still loves us. I'm here to tell you, uh, New Bethel, that, that God got you. Yeah, yeah, in your trials and tribulations, he got you. When you're going through a storm, my brothers and sisters, he got you. In those depressing moments that you have in your life, God. He, he, he got you. Uh, when you want to give up and when you want to throw in the towel, he's got you. Uh, when you're facing uh, trouble and having a hard time paying your bills, God's got you. When you lost your job and been laid off, God, he's got you. When your spouse walks out on you and leaves you all alone, God's got you. When your friends drag you, your name through the mud and people lie and cheat on you, God's got you. And that's good news to me that I serve a God that always has my back. 
Moses encouraged young Joshua and said, be strong and of a good courage. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Why? Because the Lord, he's with you. He, he, he's with you. And that's good news. As the Lord was with Moses, so shall he be with you and I. And that's good news because people come in and out of our lives. But I've got good news. God still with you. God has your back. God, he still loves you. I love Diedrich Haddon, one of my favorite uh, uh, gospel artists. He said, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Why? Because he's able. Anybody know in here our God is able? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, our God is able. He's able. He's able to save you, able to keep you, able to guide you, able to protect you, able to lead you, able to provide for you, able to answer all of your prayers, able to pick things up, able to turn things around, able to heal your body, able to clear your troubled mind, able to turn this country around, able to get rid of COVID-19. Anybody in here know that our God is able? Look at your neighbor one more time and say, he's able. He's able. He's able. Some people have given up. Some have thrown in the towel. Some have let their fears overstep their faith. People won't come to church anymore. But yet we find them in Walmart for two hours. They won't come to church anymore. But you find them out to eat in restaurants. People won't come to church anymore. But you find them in front of the slots at the casino. People won't come to church anymore, but can do everything else besides giving God praise. See, we got things backwards. We got things messed up. Before anything else, God should come first. We've lost faith today, but I'm here to remind some of you that God, he still loves you. We must stay in the fight. Yeah. We must stay the course. Yeah. We must not give up because if there's ever a time to lean and depend on God, the time is right now. Yeah. Not tomorrow, not next week, not in 2021, but the time is now. Yeah. I hear you, boy. Romans 13, it says, love, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Yeah. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Amen. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness. Not in chambering and wantonness. Not in strife and envy. But Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Now is the time to lean and depend on Jesus. Now is the time to surrender and put your trust in him. Many people wait until it's everlasting too late. I'm telling you right now, now is the time. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the time is now. You say, why? Why is the time now? Because it says in Psalms 18 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous running into it and is safe. Aren't you glad, my brothers and sisters, that we have a safe place? We have a safe place, but many times uh, we're running towards the wrong thing. We run towards a man. We run towards a woman. We run towards drugs. We run towards alcohol. We run 
towards those friends that we know are no good for us, but I'm here to let you know that you ought to run to the Lord. You ask me why, why, why should we run to the Lord? Because in Psalms 91, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High right. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress. Yes. My God, in Him will I trust. Yes. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Yes. He shall cover thee with His feathers. Under the wing shalt thou trust. Yes. His truth shall be thy shield yes. and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, yeah. nor for the arrow that fighteth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, yeah. nor for the destruction that wasteth yeah. at noonday. Yeah. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. All right. My brothers and sisters, we have comfort in the word of God. If you're facing any troubles, if you're going through any storms, you need the word of God. And I'm here to remind you this morning that you have a God that still loves you. You have a God that still sits on the throne. You have a God that has given you his word. Yes, we, 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 those that are, are saved and on uh, their way to heaven, have a promise that was given uh, to them by God. He promised that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And, and he promised that we would have eternal life with him in heaven. I remember the old church, we used to sing these songs, so I'm glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. There's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. And when the world is called up yonder, I'll be there. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I was uh, reflecting this week uh, back and thinking about my grandparents. They both have gone on to be with the Lord. And I was thinking about them uh, this week. And I remember how uh, they raised me, and I remember how they were so big uh, on Aretha Franklin, and uh, I was uh, flipping through uh, Hulu trying to find something to watch, and I came across Aretha Franklin's uh, documentary on when she uh, recorded her gospel album back in uh, L.A. at James Cleveland's church. All right. And... As at the start of the, the, the movie, uh, the, the choir uh, came in marching yeah. down the aisle right. singing, yeah. we are on our way right. to a land of endless day. We are on our way. We're on our journey home. Right. Is there anybody here that, that is glad that they're on a journey and they're on uh, their way home? Right. Yeah, the, the, the church used to sing uh, during devotion time, get right church and let's go home. I, I'm here to let you know that it's time, uh, uh, New Bethel, for, for us to get ourselves right and to get ourselves ready because we are on our way home. President-elect Joe Biden um, has said when he uh, wants to take office there's been uh, chatter that he wants to uh, put the country on lockdown for four to six weeks. And I was looking uh, at the lockdown when he wants to close businesses and things shut down so we can contain the virus. And, and, I, and, I, and I think it's a good idea, but I saw this on social media and I had to put it uh, in my sermon uh, uh, lockdown and, and what it stands for. L, listen to God's voice. Right. O, obey his word. Right. C, 
Call on Jesus and, and be calm. All right. Okay, know that God has a purpose. Yeah. D, dwell in his presence and do not panic. O, offer a prayer for everyone's safety. Okay. W, wait on the Lord and be patient for this right. too shall pass. Yeah. N, nurture our personal relationship with God. So if you ask me, uh, should we go on a lockdown? Yes, we should go on a lockdown if it gets us closer to God. Why? Because God reminded us in his word that he still loves us. All right. As we look at this pandemic, we see many have been affected. Some have died. Some have gotten sick. Some have recovered. But I'm here to let you know that through all that's going on in the world, God still loves you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things may be bad on this side, but I have good news for you today. Things are bad on this side, but we have eternal life on the other side. We have peace on the other side. We have rest on the other side. We have joy on the other side. We have happiness on the other side. He loved us so much that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I need you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God still loves you. Is there anybody here today who thanks God for sending his son and his name is Jesus, my Lord and my God. Jesus, he's still in control and sits on the right hand of the Father. Jesus, where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. I'm here to let you know that the world may be in trouble, but I'm here to remind you that Jesus is a shelter in the time of storm, and he still loves you. Don't worry, don't be afraid, don't throw in the towel, because Jesus is all is all around us but I've got Jesus disease is all around us but I've got Jesus death is all around us but I've got Jesus I thank God that the old church used to say trouble is in my way I have to cry sometimes I lay awake at night but that's alright fix it. After a while, we be made in do for a night. But joy, oh yeah, joy comes in the morning. We can overcome anything that comes our way because we have Jesus on our side. How do you know that he's on your side? Well, one Friday, they marched him up to Calvary's cross. Nails in his hands, nails in his feet. Pierced them in his side. Blood and water came streaming down. One Friday, he died. Anybody know he died? But I'm glad the story don't end right there. Because early, early, one Sunday morning, he got up. With all power in his hand, power to save, power to heal, power to cleanse, power to transform. Anybody here who knows about that name, his name is Jesus. Jesus, soothe my sorrow. Jesus, hope for tomorrow. Jesus, constant friend. Jesus, Thick and thin. Anybody, somebody that's in the house today, 
knows about the name of Jesus. Wave your hand up, open up your mouth, and shout, yeah, oh, yeah.
Father, we thank you today. We bless you, God. We honor you in this place. God, we come before you, God. Humble as we know how. God, we know, God, that you are an all-seeing God, all-knowing God. There's nothing too hard for you. So this morning, God, as we touch and agree in this place, God, we're asking you to be God in the midst. Be God in the midst of doubt. Be God in the midst of fear. God, this morning, Lord, we pray that you will visit the room of the sick this morning. Father, allow your shadow, God, to just graze through the room, God. Because we believe today, God, that there power in your presence, God. Paul, the Bible says, God, that where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. And so, God, this morning we're praying, God, that you will set the captain free in the name of Jesus. God, we believe by faith this morning that you're already turning the situation around. God, we're looking for the praise report. Paul, we understand this morning, God, that you have a permissive will. But God, it's in your will. But you said that healing is the children's prayer. And so this morning, God, we stand on your promise that everything has to work together for the good of them that love you and are called according to your purpose. Father, we understand this morning, God, that you said in the word, God, that we can call those things that be not as though they were today. And we speak healing over God. Because you said death and life are in the power of the tongue. So we declare today, God, and we decree, God, that it's already done in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord. God, we ask that you bless the offering this morning. Bless those that give and those that have a heart to give. Father, we ask today, Lord, that you would give the increase. Bless you, Bethel, God. Until you allow your face to shine upon us. Now, God, as we get ready to leave this place, but never from your presence, go with us, stand by us, lead us, and guide us. Give us traveling grace once again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, we trust you, and we shout amen. 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 And amen. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Go with peace.